great. It looks like just another old-timers game. A game where the legs aren't always willing, where the goaltending is a little shaky. But take a closer look, and you'll see this is no ordinary over-the-hill gang. Come on, guys, come on, guys. These are the Seabees, and 25 years after the team broke up, they're together again, having some fun and doing a lot of catching up. We're still like a family. Like, we met fellows that we haven't seen in years and years. We still know where uh, every player works, what town he's living in, and there's a constant, constant awareness that, the, that we, uh, we're still a family. So. Back in the late 50s and 60s, the Seabees were a provincial senior hockey powerhouse. Some of the best players in Newfoundland wore the Seabees colors. Players like the Faulkner brothers, Alex and George. It's certainly good to be here with them. Uh, some of the players I haven't seen for, oh, eight or ten years. You know, so it's just great to get together with them. George played pro hockey in the Canadian system. Alex had his moment of glory in the 1964 Stanley Cup playoffs. Faulkner picked it up in front of the net. He shoots the scores. Alex Faulkner. But both came home to play for the Seabees. We were just not a hockey team. We were the Seabees. And uh, we were from the Bay. Uh, most Newfoundlanders still think I'm from the Bay. I was not born here. I was born in Vicious Falls, but they still think I'm from Conception Bay. And, and it was the Baymen against the City Slickers. So we became, I believe, and from what I've learned since traveling in Newfoundland, that we became actually the team of Newfoundland. The team did the Conception Bay area proud, winning four herder trophies, establishing a proud hockey tradition. The fire still burns in a lot of these players. Every once in a while, there's a glimpse of what was. A great play from a Faulkner. Fans looking on from the rafters. The newest CD. This weekend, the Seabees passed some of their old magic along to a new generation of players. Captain Jim Penny handed the Seabees name to Ryan Blair, the youngest player in the Conception Bay North minor hockey system. It makes us feel good, it makes me feel a little sad, because I'd love to be starting it all over again. But yes, it does make me feel good that, that, that somebody would want to, to carry on something that we started, and that makes it special. After a 25-year absence, hockey players...